G'day everyone, Tim here from VMix, and today we're going to delve into the world of NDI hardware. Over the past few years, there's been a lot more NDI hardware that's become available, so we thought we'd do a quick video to just go over some of your hardware options that are available for NDI. NDI has opened up a whole new world of possibilities for transporting video since its release in 2016. Now we've been on board with it since day one with full support for NDI and vMix. So chances are you've already heard us talk about NDI, it quite NDI, a bit. NDI, now if you have NDI. no idea what NDI is, I'd recommend checking out some of our NDI videos or checking out the links in the description. In short, it's a method of transporting video and audio over a local network. This video takes a look at NDI capture devices and cameras that you can use in your video productions to bring in video sources just using the local network. Now since its inception, NDI has always been a great way to send video or graphics from one computer or another. The functionality of NDI has grown recently as more and more manufacturers have jumped on board and started making hardware products that natively support NDI. Now we have a bunch of NDI related products here in the office which get used on a fairly regular basis for our live shows and tutorials so it's been very handy to have NDI hardware. At this point of the video we have to take a slight detour on the NDI highway, NDI 65 or some other car related pun I guess. Um, anyways, uh, in order to speed up the acceptance and use of the NDI protocol, NewTek created a high efficiency version of NDI called NDI HX. This allowed manufacturers to use their existing hardware on their devices and become a part of the NDI ecosystem. However, NDI HX is a lower quality and higher latency than NDI, but due to this, it is more capable of being used over Wi-Fi. There are a number of NDI HX compatible devices that are available. NewTek themselves make a HDMI or SDI to NDI HX converter called the Connect Spark. This allows for both Ethernet output and also has antennae on it so that they can be used for sending the uh, signal via Wi-Fi. You can put this next to a camera and then have an affordable way that you can convert NDI HX from your camera signal. Uh, and then you can use that in your broadcast. As I mentioned before, NDI HX has given camera manufacturers fairly easy access to the NDI ecosystem using the existing hardware that they primarily used for encoding and streaming in the past. Companies such as Panasonic, Lumens, PTZ Optics, and NewTek themselves offer PTZ cameras with NDI HX functionality. They offer uncompressed video via the SDI and HDMI port on the camera, but they also give you the flexibility of having an NDI HX source that can come from the ethernet port. Now, if you are looking to use NDI HX and it's acceptable for your video production, then the great thing about a lot of these cameras is that they can be powered with just one cable, as some of them do support power over ethernet. As NDI HX offers a lower quality and higher latency than the uncompressed video or even full NDI, it may not be appropriate for every situation. If you get a chance, I'd recommend checking out some YouTube videos on NDI HX quality and check out some in-store demos. Now we get to the real deal, the full NDI hardware converters. These are devices that will convert your HDMI or SDI signal into pure NDI and give you a high quality, low latency video signal. Leading the way are the team from BirdDog, who were the first to announce an NDI converter which they called the BirdDog Studio. This has both SDI and HDMI ports and also supports decode. It also has the advantage of having a display on the front and they also support comms with their products. They also offer a smaller version called the Mini which is HDMI only and I actually happen to have one of the bird dogs here. So this is the bird dog studio right here which we've used in uh, many of our productions. Now there are also models available from companies like Magewell, like this here. Um, they have a Pro Convert series. Uh, Magewell is a trusted brand in the industry and they make really robust and good quality gear. Their line of products also include a 4K option if you're looking at 4K and a lot of them have a PTZ control port as well. NewTek themselves also offer a couple of different options for NDI converters, the Spark Pro and the Spark Plus. Um, I don't have any in the studio here but you can check out their website for more information about those. Now all of these converters offer slightly different features, price points and options. So if you are in the market, uh, take a look at the different options and see what works for your workflow and your wallet. The great thing about all of them though is that they support power over ethernet. 
which means that it's just a single cable to power the device and grab the video. You can place the converter next to your camera and then run a really long ethernet cable uh, without having to deal with huge HDMI or SDI cable runs. Fun fact, uh, we've actually set up all of our hardwired network in our office here to be PoE+. Plus. So we can just plug in any power over ethernet, NDI camera or converter directly into a netbook port into the wall and we're good to go and start using that camera, which is really handy. Hmm, so what's left to talk about? Oh, that's right, the only full NDI camera available on the market right now, the BirdDog P200. BirdDog are currently the only company making cameras that allow you to get a full NDI signal from a camera without the need for a converter or using NDI HX. As they were first on the market with their NDI converters, they had to jump on other manufacturers and are able to use the years of R&D in making this NDI camera. As this camera is PoE, you can just plug in a single network cable and have a full NDI signal and also power the device, which is pretty great. And you can also use the vMix PTZ controls to be able to control the camera and create presets as well, just with the single cable. So you've got a full NDI solution in a camera and you don't have to worry about any sort of additional converters for it. Everything is just here and good to go. Now with these cameras, you can start to see how complete NDI productions are going to become more and more commonplace. These cameras also give you the flexibility of having uh, SDI or HDMI output on the back as well. So if you're not doing a solely NDI production, you can use it for SDI and HDMI as well. So it fits any production workflow. So that's a quick look at NDI hardware here in 2019. I'm sure there'll be new converters and new cameras coming out soon. Well, I hope so anyway. I don't have any inside goss, but if anybody's got some, leave some in the comments. Uh, if you're considering purchasing some NDI hardware, there are a lot of factors to consider, so it's always best to do plenty of research. Uh, check to make sure that all of the specs support what your needs are. And if you get the opportunity, head to a trade show, a showroom, or check out a colleague's studio to try out the product for yourself. It's really hard to kind of do this on YouTube with camera examples, because someone's always going to find a problem in the way that you test the different camera signals and that type of thing. Okay, so as a quick recap of some of the different products we've talked about and why you might want to use them, um, here we go. So maybe you just want an easy NDI HX source. You just want to plug it next to the camera and use it. Then using the Kinect Spark might be an option for you. Um, maybe you primarily want a really good camera, uh, but having NDI HX is an, as an option is a perk. Um, then there are plenty of great cameras out there that have the NDI HX add-on. Um, if you're looking to use the full power of NDI with your awesome existing camera gear, then maybe using a converter is a good option for you. And finally, if you're looking for an all-in-one NDI camera, single cable, uh, then the bird dog might be something you wanna take a look at, this camera here. Now, as NDI has been out for a number of years now, there are plenty of case studies and people using NDI to different degrees. Uh, we've done plenty of shows with NDI and we've even done full live shows with only NDI sources using converters and NDI HX cameras. Now, if you have a look around, you'll see different ways that you might be able to use NDI as a part of your production. Now, with all of this talk of NDI hardware, I should also mention that you can use vMix for NDI output. Uh, you can use your outputs, audio, video calls, and cameras, and they can all be seen on the local network. So it, it easily means that you could add a camera to a production via a capture card, and then use vMix as an NDI bridge to then send that out via NDI if you wanted to. So if you do have any questions about vMix or NDI gear, drop us an email via the support page on vmix.com. It's really hard answering technical questions on YouTube without knowing your setup uh, and your situation. So if you have any technical questions, uh, chances are we'll probably just reply with, could you please send us an email so we can take a look at your production setup? Thanks a bunch. Uh, so I'm gonna link in the description, like stuff to all of these products, um, different uh, the different manufacturers' websites and that type of thing. Um, so you can check that out if you wanna find more information about that. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.